women have a lot of uh, contributions to make to, to the development process of both countries. This is because there are feminization issues that women have an empathy with rather than just a sympathy with and because of that they are able better able to address those key issues because they have the personal experience which is quite important in terms of development planning development understanding and development impact eh, Hola mi nombre es Linda Machuca eh, actualmente represento a los ecuatorianos que viven en Norteamérica en la Asamblea Nacional del Ecuador eh, bueno, estuve viviendo algunos años en los Estados Unidos y ahora estoy viviendo nuevamente en el Ecuador, así es que tengo la visión de lo que ocurre con la comunidad migrante fuera y también una vez que retornamos al país. Así es que yo creo que la contribución más grande que de, de, tenemos en este momento las mujeres en los países de destino, pero también en nuestro país de origen, tiene mucho que ver con el aporte a la cultura, a la promoción de los valores y eh, aunque existen algunos roles, algunas figuras que se les han asignado tradicionalmente a las mujeres, en el caso concreto de quienes estamos en una situación de movilidad, de quienes somos migrantes, creo también que eh, nosotros hemos asumido el rol de preservar eh, la cultura pese a toda la influencia que existe alrededor, eh, los medios, factores externos y demás. Yo creo que esa es como quizás la mayor contribución que hacemos con la comunidad en la actualidad, pero también con las futuras generaciones. I feel um, women per se, um, perhaps led by the emotion, want to do some good work back home, but those emotions soon lead to realization that they actually have to become a professional entity if they really want to make uh, uh, long-term sustainable changes. And... Um, I think women are driven by their motivation, their patience, their uh, determination to to, um, to change, to make positive changes in the world. I think the, uh, the contribution that women can make uh, in diaspora, who are living actually in diaspora, that they can make for international development is very crucial. And it's also very important. Because women are so much often seen as peacemakers. And you would find that, like, uh, coming from Africa, where I come from, there's a lot of, uh, you know, breakage of wars. There are many things happening. That women as peacemakers themselves and people who have left their country, some of them have actually migrated through difficult times, and they've been able to forgive on what has happened before. They can help in building peace and, and creating a better world. Uh, for the majority of the people still de living in their country of origin. So I think w women dias from diaspora have a huge role to play in the international development of their own countries in general. Le développement pour moi, c'est uh, le bien-être des populations, mais à long terme. Il faut avoir une vision à long terme. Alors la contribution de la, de la diaspora là-dedans, uh, je pense qu'elle se situe à différents niveaux. D'abord, uh, Dans la diaspora, nous avons appris un certain nombre de choses. Nous, a, nous, nous disposons d'un certain nombre d'instruments que euh, ceux qui sont restés au pays euh, pour euh, x, y raisons n'ont pas l'occasion d'avoir. Et donc, je pense que notre travail, c'est essentiellement retourner vers, euh, vers ceux qui sont restés au pays et notamment vers les femmes, travailler avec ces femmes Euh, que ce soit au niveau de la formation, la formation ayant pour objectif, bien sûr, euh, euh, le, le, le fait de, de renforcer leurs capacités, afin que, à tous les niveaux où se prennent des décisions importantes, on puisse retrouver les femmes. Et je pense que ça, si on peut retenir ça, cette complémentarité entre les femmes de la diaspora, les femmes qui sont restées au pays, et... Euh, en termes de, de peut-être de méthodologie de travail, d'instruments de travail, euh, parce que nous on a plus, euh, plus d'occasion euh, de les avoir et partager avec elles. These women, diaspora women, may not necessarily have um, um, the jargon of the international development sector, or they may not have the academia background, but it's their personal experience and knowledge, personal knowledge that drives them to, 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 to do this kind of work. Also, I think diaspora women have qualities of good communication, sympathy, empathy, compassionate, which allows them to um, directly uh, work with the grassroots organizations and communities and identify what the needs are. 
Um, and I think there are many, many positive models of where diaspora women have contributed greatly to their uh, home countries, but I don't think it's always uh, recognized or acknowledged. Um, and partly this is because diaspora women probably um, have a low profile and underestimate their own strength and courage, so they don't see um, they don't see it as, as a big thing to go and, and write a paper on it or do a, a research paper or discussion paper. They will be more on service delivery focused as opposed to more at an inter international level. So I feel um, in a way this um, workshop has been great. Hopefully the women at this uh, workshop will be inspired to come together and, and write some papers and take some tangible um, ideas forward. I think if we ignore the contributions of women to development, we are kind of excluding more than 50%. And there are very intelligent women who are quite, quite strong in, in, in their emotions and in terms of their values and in terms of how they can implement development. There is a massive, massive wealth of experience there that can be used both in the countries of heritage and in the, the, the host countries in terms of policies, in terms of implementation, in terms of planning, in terms of consultation and all of those sort of things. So I think really women have quite a lot to contribute and do contribute and will continue to contribute to development.